Um, he jumps on the keys, and especially when it, it's time for him to eat, and he jumps on the keys and makes noise like, "You better feed me, or else I'm gonna play okay, all kinds." Of okay, stuff. guys, get get in your places. We're online here now. So. Oh, okay. Good good afternoon, right. ladies and gentlemen. My name is Harry Hewlett. This Dallas Songwriter Association. It's uh, it's our open mic. We do this every week at win on Wednesday, from seven to nine, and see what's today. Today, I guess, would be April the sixth. Yeah. And we've already got uh, about seven people lined up here. Alan Larson just showed up. All right. So we got, counting me, we got, we got, I guess it's six people on here now. And we could have twice that many before it's all up. And we do one song at a time and then pass the guitar to the next guy and he plays a song and then we go from there. And I'm going to start it off here. Well, first off, first off, I'll just show you who's here. Okay, guys, here you go. There they are. Well, what happened to Ace? He has vanished. Did he, did he, is he shy? He's not no, shy. Not usually. I guess he probably went to, oh, had to let out the dog or something. Him. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, i tell you what. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my whole face on the screen there so they don't have to look at y'all here we go speaker okay now i'm back first time we got together you said i was uncouth you hated my red pickup my high heel lizard boots said if we were gonna make it a few things had to change before i knew what hit me my whole life was rearranged you made me buy a suit and tie lease a foreign car and you jilted me for some dude at your private health club bar his love leaves you unsatisfied you need my kind of man now you say you want me back Well, darling, here I am Warts and all What you see is what you're getting Warts and all His fancy clothes and big time money Do not make you happy, honey If you really want me You'll take me warts and all The day that you ran out my fragile ego felt the shock <laughs> So I took my trusty pickup off those backyard cement blocks I smiled as my butt hit the seat My old self again A simple redneck horny toad That's all I've ever been Warts and all What you see is what you're getting Warts and all his fancy clothes and big time money Do not make you happy, honey If you really want me You'll take me warts and all I love you and your stuck up ways Don't change a hair for me Just understand I've got to keep My own identity Warts and all What you see is what you're getting Warts and all His fancy clothes and big time money Do not make you happy, honey If you really want me You'll take me warts and all If you really want me You'll take me warts and all Warts and all, the love song. Thank you very much. And now I will mosey right along to Bill Martin. I bet he's got a song for us. He's gonna make me make well, me look like a like a rank amateur. No, that That's not really true good. at all. I heard you last weekend out there. That was so fun. Deep Ellum, wasn't that fun? That was really well spent time. Yes, it was. Oh. What you got? 
well, I think I'll do the song that I've done a million times before. Let's see if we can do it again. What's the point in telling you if you don't believe it's true? I could never leave you. Found together me and you, supernatural super glue. I could never leave you. I Driving in the car with you All alone it's just we two I could never leave you You didn't hear it. There you go. I, I, I was muted. So was the audience. Anyway, hey, what happened to Alan? He's gone. He just dropped off the edge here. Okay. That was, that was Bill Martin, folks. And now we have coming up Jamie Gunn with all that flamenco chill stuff. He's got his own style. Still have me on the main screen. Ah, never mind. No, I was moving in. I just Oops, you're I'm such a good looking guy. I want everybody to see you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good to see you all. So this is called New Life Experience.
Thank you. Chain of gun, folks. <laughs> thank Flamenco you. Chill. That's a new kind of music. He invented it. That's it right there. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay, thank now you. we got somebody new, folks. I, I hope he's going to be one of our buddies and be a regular. Right. He's from up there in Iowa. So we're, we're, get, we're becoming very international-like, you know. <laughs> Welcome. Iowa up here. We got uh, David Rayburn. David, I'm going to give you the screen here and let you play a song. Okay. There you go. Hi, Hi everybody. Uh, this is an original, it's an instrumental, and it's uh, in honor of my three cats that pester me and love me. Oh, we love that. cats, yeah. Yeah. So, and dogs. Well, here we, here we go. This, uh, it's called Cool Cats. Uh, let's see here. Thank you. 
Figures. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, folks. That was uh, that was David Rayburn from up there in Iowa, home of John Wayne, and also the best pork loin sandwiches you will ever get. Ever, Thanks for ever, remembering ever. that. Yes, uh, and I, also I think pulled pork. Isn't that what? Isn't that what? I uh, think Rose, that's what yeah, I think that's what Roseanne Barr and uh, what's her name? What's his name? Had a had a chain up there or something, didn't they? A little chain. They may have. I don't know. I think they did, but but do you, is that is that a regular up there pulled pork? I think so. Yeah. 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 Okay. I love pork. Okay. Great song. You know, now halfway through the song, you got to stand up like uh, like Jerry Lewis used to do. You know, he with both hands on the pen, he'd kick that chair out of the way behind him. So he, I saw him do that on stage one time. I thought that's so cool. That is cool. That yeah. Is cool. Anyway, a good yeah. song. Do you ever that's sing in here? You just all straight. Yeah. I, yeah, I sing too. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, welcome, welcome to the welcome to the show, welcome to Texas, and I hope you keep coming back. You, you, can, you can be our buddy up in Iowa. I don't Sounds think we have me. anybody up in Iowa. Yeah, you might be the first one from Iowa. The Iowa chapter. Yeah, yeah well, you can be right. the Iowa chapter. We might, yeah, we might start a chapter up there. That's what we'll do. Okay, now then, we've got a real treat. We've got we've got Ace Pounder. He's a, <laughs> what you gonna do, Ace? I'm gonna st I'm gonna do some older ones, but I'm gonna start with some of the the new ones, which, as you know, are all about uh, Ukraine. This is called Refugee. lunch break with a sandwich and a book but now I am nothing or something I would never hope to be I am a refugee refugee What a strange name for me I lived life as wholesome As hopeful as can be Now I'm just a refugee want your pity I need your help my friend to stand up to barbarity and make this madness end let the democracy stand together as people moral and free and help the refugees What a strange name for me I lived a life as wholesome 
as hopeful as can be. Now I am just a refugee. All right. For all those too many refugees. Yeah. Did a Russian barber cut your hair too short or something sometime or other? You got, I mean, you really got it in for all the Russians, it seems like. <laughs> I, am, I am not a fan. <laughs> this started when I was about mm, six fighting the Russians in my backyard, and it, it, I oh, had really? seen no reason to change my opinion. <laughs> you, 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 I guess you got pissed off because they made you hide under the desk, you know, for those bombs. That's children, right. That's, they, did. That's, uh, yeah. they did. They did. Yeah, you know, I I, I kind of like the Russians. That there, there was this uh, Russian barber shop like on Park Avenue, about Thirty Sixth Street, along in there. And all these guys, man, they had they had you know their shirts were open, they had these gold chains around their neck, and they had the, <laughs> and about half they had two or three uh, female barbers, and they were beautiful. Let me tell you, they, they were. Dumb. I always wanted to get one of the girls, but uh, but it was idea, it was a great way, great barber shop, yeah. Well, I, I just love the idea of you you and the Russian mafia getting your hair cut at the same place. I think it it was it. probably probably a mafia place, you know. And they had a <laughs> they had a uh, they had a little area over in Brooklyn where it was all, you know, you go over and, and have real Russian food and stuff like that. Which is know? Russian food is good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I kind of liked him. I, I, Putin, I'm not sure about him. Too, <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure about him. I am pretty sure. Yeah, okay, that was Ace Pounder, folks. I bet he's got another one of those songs like that he's going to sing for us. And, he's, <laughs> and now we got Alan Lorson coming up. Alan's going to make us all look bad. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I don't know yeah about that. there he is. Alan, how you doing, Alan? I'm okay. My computer was not cooperating earlier. I don't know. What's the... Is that why you left us? Yeah, the mouse quit working and... Then when I went to reboot it, I said, oh, we're trying to re... Windows was going to fix my system, whatever that meant. But I, I, I don't know. I had to restart it three or four times before it finally started up like it should. Well, now you're here. You're here. You're I'm here. Now I'm here. You're, you're and, safe. You're safe. You're with and us. And just yeah. my little okay. comment on the discussion of Russians. I'm just reminded, I, I had a neighbor who lived below me for a couple of years who was uh, from Russia, or he spoke Russian, but he was, I think, originally... you. Uzbekistan, I can't remember now, but he lived in Moscow. Very talented. He's here in the U.S. on a uh, special talent visa because he's such a accomplished violinist fiddler. But uh, I, he's moved out, but I follow him on Facebook. I can tell he's pretty conflicted about what's going on over there. I bet a bunch of them are. Yeah, I mean, it, it yeah. kind of puts him in an uncomfortable position. I feel sorry for his yeah. situation. Yeah. I think Don Wall is a friend of his somehow on Facebook. Small world, <coughs> isn't it? Yeah. Kirill Rostolinko is his name. Anyway. Okay, <coughs> what you got? I don't think I've done this song here in a little while, so uh, this is my song, Bitten. <laughs> I've 
never seen such a smile as I traveled all these miles from the Rockies on out to the coast. Well, now folks, they think I'm joking. They ask me, what have you been smoking? But it don't matter when you know what matters most. I've been bitten, I've been nervous as a kid Traveled around the world and met all kinds of girls But had no clue I got hit on Now I'm completely smitten Now I'm coming home to you to the stories told by some friends strangers with no name well some got funny things they're thinking then it's my turn to wonder what they're drinking but in the end we're really all just the same I've been lost I've been bitten I've been nervous as a kid Traveled around the world and met all kinds of girls Just when it seems like it's all been written Once again I'm completely smitten Now I'm coming home to you Yeah, I'm coming home to you Yeah used to what? Wonder what it was that you were looking at, Alan, until it dawned on me the reflection of the basketball game in your picture behind you gave me the answer. <laughs> well, I was I was thinking maybe if you could like, that drink a the... glass of water while you're singing or maybe take a phone call while you're singing, you can like triple quadruple task. That, I'm working <laughs> on that. <laughs> what 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 ball game are you watching tonight? Oh, I'm keeping track of the Mavericks. They're uh, it's they're going to the playoffs, but they're jockeying for the best position. Oh, I'm okay. a big Mavs fan, but Rick. yeah, but I don't know. Sometimes I'm just glancing at my lyrics, but I got them right below the camera now. So, well, my my team won well, that, the other night, Monday night. The KU, huh? KU won the other night. That's oh like, yeah, yeah, that was interesting. They were way behind first half and came yeah, they did a hell of a game. Okay, the it's next my, song I'm going to do something special. Keep well, all, all your songs are special to us, Alan. <laughs> okay. Okay. Replay spot. Mean, meanwhile, you can look at my doppelganger. Let's see. I think I got him. There he is. Jesse James changed his name. He was buried in Texas. And we're distant cousins. I once heard my grandpa say, with boyish pride, I told my friends how Jesse's blood runs through my veins. Now those show me folks say, Harry, there ain't no way. I ain't kin to Jesse anymore. Those white coats with their microscopes have dug him up for sure. There can't be no denying. His DNA ain't lying. <laughs> I ain't kin to Jesse anymore. Now some things are best left under these scuppers, like buried treasure and like proof there ain't no God. Like Pluto ain't no planet, and like why Michael looks like Janet, and why that cute girl won't answer. When I knock, I ain't kin to Jesse anymore. We've lost another hero. 
he's walking out the door. Can't blame those folks for trying, or fools like me for crying. I ain't keen to Jesse anymore. chance in a million I could be right even if I'm wrong let me believe what it is I believe in let wiser men live well enough alone I ain't kin to Jesse anymore my whole world is changing like it never has before so Lord, don't let nobody dig up any more of my grandpa's distant cousins like Buffalo Bill Cody. Cause I ain't kin to Jesse anymore. Jesse James, rest in peace. God bless you. Thank you very much. They, they had a Jesse James up in Iowa, too. I think every state of the union had a Jesse James. <laughs> Once upon a time until they dug him up for real. Okay, that's enough of Jesse James. And now we are moving right along to Bill Martin. See what he's got. Okay. My friend Ace Pounder has a, a friend that Seth Ginsburg that wrote this very interesting piece that Ace has covered. And I asked Ace if it would be all right to cover this piece. And it is called Everybody's Stupid But Me. Now, in the <laughs> spirit of Everybody's Stupid But Me, I've decided to improve the song, you see. So we'll be the um, judge of that. Well, let me put it to you this way. Okay. I was practicing on this all day yesterday on my ukulele. Oh. And I haven't touched it all day at all today. And I'm going to be playing it on my guitar, which, as you know, they're pretty much the same strings except for the two bottom strings. But there's still going to be some landmines I have purposely set because I'm going to be capoing my guitar in the first fret which it will no longer be in C, and I've got a G harp, which means if I, I haven't practiced this yet, I haven't tried it out, but the likelihood of a single note being right is very, very slim because the relationship between a C sharp and a G is going to be, I guess you would call it a diminished. So anyway, is that, is it, would, if, you, if you're in, in the key of D, would a G be your cross harp? Mm, let's see, are you keen? To, yes, yes. We'll, if you're keen to, yeah. we'll see the idea is to make sure there aren't any right notes. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> because everybody's stupid but him. <laughs> but I don't realize that, of course, because this is actually going to be sheer genius. If, it open, <laughs> if people don't get it, of course, it's because you're all stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's really no, we will see. Really no getting out play, of play it. Play the song. Play the song. We'll see. Here it comes. By the way, the introduction is probably better than my rendition of this piece. I was thinking about all those morons who aren't quite right thinking, you see. And as I cogitated, I came to the conclusion that everybody's stupid but me. Everybody's stupid but me. Everybody's stupid but me. Everything they think about is absolute garbage. Everybody's stupid but me. I was walking around 
there in D.C. The staff didn't seem so busy, you see. And as I thought about it, I came to the conclusion that everybody's lazy but me. Everybody's lazy but me. Everybody's lazy but me. They can't live up to my Calvinistic standards. Everybody's lazy but me. Everybody's lazy but me. Everybody's lazy but me. If you don't think like I do, then you surely must be nuts. No ifs, ands, or buts. Cause everybody's lazy but me. Everybody's stupid but me. Everybody's stupid but me. Everything they think about is absolute garbage. Cause everybody's stupid but me. Everything they think about is absolute garbage because everybody's stupid. Now I'm not done. I'm not done. But me. It is such a burden to be so, so gifted and handsome, charming and cool. Like all those other more common folk, no one could ever take me for a fool. Cause everybody's stupid but me. Everybody's stupid but me. is absolute garbage everybody's stupid but me everything they think about is absolute garbage because everybody's stupid but me well you convinced me much better, much better. <laughs> I can see Monty Python doing that song. <laughs> Ace wrote it. <laughs> but I now mean, it's yours. It, it now it's yours. Oh, You've made it your own, man. I, I, I love I love the harmonica. That. The harmonica is a perfect <laughs> touch. <laughs> <Isn't> that killer. <laughs> <laughs> Very abstract. <laughs> Very outside, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Late coal train 67, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that that was our own Bill Martin, folks. And, okay, now then, let's see what Jamie Gunn's got. There okay. he is. This is the light of light.
Thank you. Jamie Gunn. Flamenco Chill. All right, Jamie, how's it good? Thank you. Now, David, you got another song for us? David Rayburn? Uh, yes. yes, I do. Okay. Excellent. I, th I think you're, are you going to do the keyboards? Yeah, this is, a, yeah, this is a keyboard. Yeah. It was a little bit loud a while ago. Uh, uh, this is a different keyboard though, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. we'll see how, let, let me know. Uh, okay. Um, I'll just play a couple of chords on it. Uh, that's all right. Uh, do it again. Uh. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, uh, this one is, uh, it's uh, original, and it's, uh, what else can I tell you about it? It's called Looking Out My Window.
Reflection on the star. Oh yeah. Oh, we're having a good time. Wherever the hell you are. two different kind of keyboards what you got a, what do you got uh, there well i got uh the first one that i play it on is a chord it's a full you know 88 keys oh, okay. uh, and this one's smaller it's uh yamaha kind of bottom of the line <laughs> uh yamaha but it, it works you know yeah cool all right okay folks that was uh that was our our new member of the group david rayburn from up in iowa and now we got an old member of the group coming oh. up an old member of the group coming up. Ace Pounder up in Plano. There he is. All right, Ace, what, what you going to do? Well, first of all, I want to thank Bill for uh, taking that and making that song his. I think that was wonderful. And uh, I will now regard myself simply as uh, the songwriter and not as the performer because I think that, that uh, Bill's... Bill's uh, version is now the version of record so so are you gonna put your songwriter name on it rather than, uh, rather oh than he ice? has to he has to use yeah oh yeah when it becomes a huge hit for him and he makes more money than 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 crocious i guess is the so, joke so the but, songwriter is on that song oh seth, seth, ginsburg, seth ginsburg wrote that right. yeah yes, yeah, seth, yeah yeah okay yeah. remember that okay. bill seth ginsburg. guy from Absolutely. guy from pittsburgh That's seth ginsburg song and 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 that's him all over you know yeah Kind of okay. shy fellow, but Bill. We'll, we'll watch him. We'll make sure he does, <laughs> does it right. What you gonna do? All right. Well, I I was sitting here just uh, suffering from um, uh, harmonica uh, uh, inadequacy, frankly. You know, I mean, all my friends are up there playing harmonica and stuff, and I'm thinking, wow, if I were a real man. I would play harmonica, so I was thinking, well, what could I do of the the songs, the new songs that would make sense with a harmonica? And uh, I don't, now I don't pretend. Well, I I will say this: I I don't pretend to play harmonica as well as uh, Bill or Harry, but I will play it better than Bill's last performance. But I I think that that was rather intentional, but. That, that's my impression anyway, so. When they asked President Zelensky if he would like to run away far from the raging battle somewhere much more safe he shook his head and smiled a bit and then he said with pride I need ammunition not a ride I need ammunition 
not right. I got my AK-47 just right by my side. We'll beat that slime ball Putin, and we'll do it with grit and pride. I need ammunition, not a ride. Send us guns and stinger missiles, send us tech and tanks. Ukraine is standing for human freedom. We need more than just thanks. Not a ride. I got my AK 47 right by my side. We'll beat that slime ball Putin and we'll do it with grit and pride. I need ammunition, not a ride. <laughs> I hope that wasn't too ridiculously loud. I can't really tell the levels. No, no, I don't play the harmonica cool. very often. That's cool. As you can tell. <laughs> cool song. Okay, folks, that was Ace Pounder. Ace Pounder. And now we've got we've got a real star coming up again. Alan Larson. <laughs> but I don't see Alan. Is that Alan sitting there? Is that is that a Yeah, that's me. Okay. Let me play spotlight. Yeah, there I was. Okay. <laughs> What you gonna do? Uh, let's see. Do I have my? I am going to. Well, I will tell this. I'm, I'm I'm going to do a Dylan. I'm going electric. Much to much great controversy. I'm That's sure. That's a nice looking guitar. Yeah, I've had it a few years. Got it, at Sam Ash. It's a Ibanez. It doesn't have a fancy model name. It's got like a six six letters and numbers. It's pretty. It's beautiful. Did, yeah, did you, I love it. Yeah. Did you, did I, you, I'm still outraged that he's going electric. Harry, we have to do something about this. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, did, did you yeah. pay for? Did you pay for that with the, with your with your coupons? Coupons? I think partially. I think. I, yeah. I think I just paid a couple hundred dollars or so. At Sam asked. Yeah. I, I remember Denny used to work up there in the guitar yeah. room. He yeah. he kind of guided me to. Yeah. No. Get this one over here. So what's the deal is I went over to friends. We were jamming on electric guitars a few weeks about a month ago, and I was like, "That's kind of fun." I came home. I turned on my little crate amp to play it, and by God, it it crapped out. It was uh, making a lot of static noise and all this crap. So I ended up buying a new little Fender. It's off camera here. This little Fender. Look, check it out. Must look it up. It's a Mustang LT25, but it's got like thirty presets built in. It's one of these kind of modeling amps and it has every stomp box you could want in it. Delay, reverb, blah, 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 you know. So anyway, uh, I've actually got on a tremolo setting and I'm going to do I Can't Breathe, my song with it. I think it's kind of sort of fits. I don't know. Tell me what you think. <laughs> I, hopefully I got a good balance. Does that sound like that's going to work? Yeah, that's cool. Huh? Yeah, that yeah it's cool, yeah. Okay. I can't breathe anymore. The air is thick with this shame. Choked on dust and gasoline. Well, I can't think, I can't talk, I'm completely lost, I don't know what to do. Sword falls from a jagged cloud. And I can't dream anymore, there's just too much noise. 
crowd presses at my gate I can't sleep, I can't cry, I can't close my eyes I've been made a fool The princess is on the moon to that story about getting the new lamp because my old one crapped out. Yesterday I went to, well, let's get rid of the old lamp. I was going to salvage some parts off of it. Turn it on one last time. Now it works fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I got two little lamps now, I guess. I don't know. Do you have time to explain how you had your sound set up? Did you mic both your, have one mic for your vocals and one mic micing the amp? Or how did, how did you set your no, sound? No, I, I bought this little... Simple $15, after trying everything else with mixers and SM58, I bought this $15 amp, or microphone, let's see if you can see it very well, mm -hmm. off of Amazon, and it's just amp in, picking up my voice so and it, One amp is picking up the whole kit and know, just, I just kind of guessed that's a good place for the amp. It's about as far away as I am from the microphone, so wow. just turn the You're volume like moderately. The sound. You're gonna yeah, like but this amp's a lot of fun. About, uh, about half the presets are for screaming fuzz guitar, and some of them are fun to play with, but you can also program another 30 sets, and you can plug it in a computer and manipulate them. It's, it's kind, of, kind of neat what you can do with yeah. these amps. One, one of these days when that's a million seller, you know, that, that'll be in the, the album notes, you know. I <laughs> yeah. bought this cheap little amp and this cheap yeah. little speaker. Yeah, I was kind microphone. of kicking myself. I, I need to start putting... Songs on Distro Kid or something. I've got one good recording of uh, You Got This. I should really do that. So I've kind of looked it up today. Uh, maybe I'll get it done yet. Yeah. Start. Yeah. And get a good recording of this song. Well, anyway, okay. It's my turn again. I haven't played this song about twice since I've been living in Dallas. And I've been here, I've been to Dallas 10 years now almost. Actually, a little over 10 years. So. <clears throat> It's called It's called Roadkill of Love. It's a love song of sorts. So go go it goes like this, I remember the damn thing, thing. A pretty woman's like an eighteen wheeler truck. 
<laughs> a man's like a possum whose number is up. If he don't see her coming or hear wheels a humming, she'll make him a roadkill of love. And I'm a roadkill of love. Yes, I'm a roadkill of love. So I didn't see her coming, her hair wheels are humming till she made me a roadkill of love. Well, I had a pretty wife in Kansas City. And I left her for this waitress in Chilla Coffee. I spent all my money to hear call me honey. Then she left me for some lawyer in St. Louis. And I'm a roadkill. Of love. And I'm a roadkill of love. She was coming round the curve. She never even swerved. She made me a roadkill of love. Fellers, listen to me before you cross that road just to see what is on the other side. There's one thing you should know when you're standing in the glow. Don't do like me and look into the light. Cause I'm a roadkill of love. And I'm a roadkill of love. It looks like love is dead. Got tread marks on my head. She made me a roadkill of love. I'm trying to remember the rest of it. Okay, here we go. Someone at the cell phone call an ambulance. This fella needs help. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I think I can hear that ambulance coming now. Y'all hear it? Way off in the distance? Listen. Tag him and bag him, boys. He's a goner. I think I left something out. I'm not sure what, but we'll do it again. That's called Roadkill of Love. Okay. Now, now we will Beat go. those through. lyrics. <laughs> Good God. Anyway, and we got, uh, see, who we got next? We got, we got Bill Martin coming back. I'm, I'm going to think, he's going to do a, going to have another love fest here on the song with uh, Ace Pounder. Hey, <laughs> Y'all might be co-writers one of these days. You can't ever tell. There we go. What you going to do? You already are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to get a room, I guess. I don't know. Oh God! <laughs> wow. I shouldn't have said. That. I shouldn't have said that. Okay. What you gonna do, Bill? Well, when I was in junior college, I wrote this one. This is my second year of junior college, and the reason I'm playing it today is because I was trying to think of something that I haven't played a trillion times recently, and I haven't played this one a trillion times recently. So, let's see how well. I wouldn't be this apologetic because I was in front of a whole bunch of people. I would just play poker and play this song if I plan on doing it. Here we go. You got something to live for. Guaranteed love and a good life in store. the love from the girl I adore. Am I lying? Is this true? Can you tell how I
I could give to you and only you. I love you and only you. I love you. I At the end? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll go. You, you, you I know. Me. All those false. Right. Yeah. yeah. Those false endings. That's real pretty. Thank you. When did you say you wrote that? Second year of junior college. I mean, okay. it's probably it probably would wouldn't have sounded that polished at the time, but yeah, the original idea was pretty much that. Good song. Yeah. Well, right. thank you. Okay, that was uh, Bill Martin, folks, and now we got Jamie Gunn coming back up. Jamie, Jamie with ethereal frequency. Here we go. There's Jamie right there. And this is beautiful reality. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you. That's a good one. Jamie Gunn. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Now, David. David. It's Ray, Rayburn, right? Ray, David Rayburn. David yeah. Rayburn. <laughs> Call me anything. Um, and we yeah, got David the, from, from Iowa. From, okay. Yeah, that's that's the main thing there. From Iowa way. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is a song about... Uh, well, you, you know, you're not supposed to pick your favorites if you have cats, but uh, I had a cat. He's gone now, but uh, he, he ended up being my favorite. And so this song is about, it's about him. It's called I Fooled You. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. 
hyped in audience. I love that. Yeah, we have a big crowd here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can hear it. There's probably a hundred of them out there. Oh, at yeah. least. At yeah. least. I was gonna say about fifty thousand. And they're all they're they're real music critics too. I mean, if they don't like it and it's not a good song, they won't clap. Oh, I'll, they I'll usually clap on all our stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, folks, that was uh, that was that was David Rayburn from Iowa, Iowa, and now we got we got the famous musician. His name is Ace Pounder from up in Plano. Yeah. But originally from Pittsburgh, and I just wanted to say I've always liked the Iowa Hawkeyes because they're black and gold, and so uh, black and gold is a big thing in Pittsburgh, as you can imagine. I am going to do something, uh, as opposed to my uh, current uh, spate of anti-war songs, uh, something, a phrase I haven't spoken since I was probably 15, by the way. Uh, this is... Uh, this is something a little more on the upbeat side, shall we say. This is called Ain't It Great to Be Alive. Oh, oh it also has a, a sort of a, a animal aspect, too. So. Well, step down the street on a fine autumn day with my love and our dogs in a family kind of way we smile at the neighbors and we can't help but say ain't it great to be alive well skipping through the colors of deciduous leaves sniffing the aromas of the juniper trees hearing all the ravens caught in the breeze ain't it great to be alive yeah, everybody's got their troubles There's always something the philosophers say But objectively, in terms of this planet We're really doing more than okay Ain't it great to be alive? 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 Alive. Ain't it great to be alive? Well, puppies follow noses through the fluttering of color. Each walk is savored gracefully as a family adventure. They bump into our legs as they crash into each other. Ain't it great? be alive well yeah everybody's got their troubles there's always something the philosophers say but objectively in terms of this planet we're really doing more than okay ain't it great to be alive ain't it great to be alive ain't it great be alive, ain't it great to be alive? Yes, it is. Amen. <laughs> All right. Ace Pounder. Alan Larson, what you got? He's watching the ball game again, I bet. How's your team doing? Can't hear you. Oh, the game's over. Oh. Can you hear uh -oh. me? Yeah, now I can, yeah. You know, the game's over. I've been trying to mess around with my guitar amplifier, but uh, I was going to try some, but I think I'm not ready for that. So I'm going back to plan A, which was, uh, let's see, I just passed it up. There it is. Uh, and then my, I have this six string electric with these thin strings. Hell, I think it's harder to keep in tune than that 12 string. <laughs> So anyway, uh, okay, uh, this is uh, no, another effect called Dreamy on my amp that I thought might fix f fit this song, which is called A Dream About You. Is that, is that a little loud, maybe?
Last night I woke from a dream about you Thunder and ice filled the air A storm passing through Someone was calling your name All was different All was the same Now last night I'm walking you home by the park I stumble my way through the shadows in the dark Wide awake before dawn I'm thinking of days long gone Last night, I'm chasing you down. It's 5 a.m. I'm staring at a photo of you. My lips whisper your name. Old feelings come again. And I'm wondering where you are Had another dream about you There's just one more passing through Just one more dream about you The guitar sounds good. Yeah. The guitar, the guitar sounds good. This is my wah -wah. Okay, <laughs> folks, that was that was Alan Larson, and now, guys, we're 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 up to our last round now. Everyone gets one more song. I'm gonna I'll start it off and appreciate everybody coming. Have had a good crowd tonight. I think there's been more people over on Facebook watching. And there, there there's the crowd right there. We got Alan Larson and. Bill Martin and Jamie Gunn and David Rayburn and Ace Pounder and me. And uh, I don't know where everybody else is, but it's kind of fun not to have such a big crowd. We could play more songs. There's been good songs in that. Okay, here we go. Whoop, we don't want that guy. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> Well, it's that time of year again, folks. These old hailstorms coming up, these big old thunderstorms. And I don't know how many lived on a farm. Not that many people anymore, but I lived on a farm out there in West Texas. And my daddy, he was awful afraid of those tornadoes. He'd watch the clouds for those, but those that wasn't likely to be the problem, the tornado. 
The big problem was a hailstorm. It just takes a little bit of hail out, of, and every one of those clouds has hail in it, and it can hail out his crop. And you know, a farmer only gets paid once a year. If he loses his crop, and that can happen in just four or five minutes, if it's a hailing a hailstorm, he's got to wait till next year to get paid again. It gets expensive. And he would. I, I remember seeing my daddy walking the floor, looking out the back window, watching those old clouds come up. Out there in West Texas, you can see the clouds coming for 40 miles almost because there aren't any trees and it's flat as can be. And you see those old clouds coming at night, you can see that lightning coming down to the bottom of those clouds. Anyway, here is, I wrote this song called Hailstorm about my daddy. My daddy made his living Working the land, raised up land cotton in Texas sand. But every time he got it growing out of the ground, a hailstorm would come and try to knock it back down. I remember him pacing that kitchen floor, looking out that old back door. Cussing those hailstones coming down They were kicking up dirt as they hit the ground Got a lump in his throat cause he wanted to cry One minute more his crop could die And under his breath you could hear him pray Hailstorm, hailstorm, go away Hailstorm, hailstorm, go away. Change your icy hail to rain. If the good Lord is willing and you leave us alone, we can pick enough cotton to save our home. Mm. But I never saw him cry when he lost a crop. He never quit, his too broke to stop. But he raised a son who you think would know better. Here I am, 20 years later. I don't own a tractor, got a company car. A mortgage so big I could have bought my own farm. My boss just said, son, it's your last day. Clean out your desk and get the hell out of the way. But I remember how it was on that Texas farm And I ain't quitting cause of one damn storm Hailstorm, hailstorm, go away Change your icy hell to rain If the good Lord is willing then you leave us alone We can pick enough cotton to save our home Hailstorm, hailstorm, go away. Change your icy hail to rain. If the good Lord is willing and you leave us alone, we can pick enough cotton to save our home. Hailstorm, hailstorm, go away. Change your icy hail to rain. If the good Lord is willing and you leave us alone, enough cotton to save our home. Hail storm right there. Thank you very much. That's my last song of the night. And now we move, move it on to pass the guitar to Bill Martin. Bill, what you got for your last song for the night? Well, your Lubbock-oriented songs, This I wrote this song, Mary Lou, actually in Lubbock when I was there. So I was trying to decide which song I was going to do. I was either going to do Forgiveness, The Meaning of the Cross, or Mary Lou. And I think I'm going to go with Mary Lou. It's a little shorter, which will give everybody enough time to wrap this up by nine, I think. But yeah, this first this song first began to become, re, you know, be, uh, what's the word, tangible. You know, it was per, first conceived in Lubbock back in, I guess it was 79. She's 
got a heart as big as Texas With troubles like the Alamo Somewhere she's drawing away from Some tiny little bar in Colorado Sweet Mary Lou Can I tell you how very proud I am of you You're trying so hard to quit And I know it isn't all that easy to do don't cry, I'm a sucker for tears It hurts me when you do it It resurrects all my fears Cause you can bet your bottom dollar I'll be there when you holler Baby, this is real And since it's Just pass. Oh, sweet Mary Lou, when are you going to stop and think about the gift God gave to you? Stop and think about what life could mean to you. Oh, sweet Mary Lou, when are you going to stop and think about where life is headed to? How about that Bill Martin, folks? All right. Great song. Now we got Jamie Gunn coming up. Jamie, what you going to do for your final song of the night? All right. For my final tonight, I'll do Cosmic Celebration. Okay.
Have a great okay. night. Okay, great song. Good, great nice. song. Thanks for, thanks for being here. Okay, that's Jamie Gunn. Now we got David Rayburn coming back up with his last song for the evening. Yeah. What you got, okay. David? Uh, it's just it's an instrumental. I'm out of practice on it, but you guys are forgiving. I know that. So here we go. song david thank you for coming hope you hope you hope you're gonna be a regular thank you appreciate that okay david rayburn up in iowa and now we got 
Ace Pounder. Ace, what are you going to do for us tonight? Well, I'll tell you what. I think I think you are you know perfectly well what I'm going to do. Because you didn't think I was going to let an evening slip by without a song for Vladimir. Oh, yeah. Poisoner. Oh, yeah. Of underpants. Oh, yeah. He's riding a horse without wearing a shirt. You can tell he's a hell of a man. He poses with tires and kicks at the dirt. He can do things that nobody can. All are in awe when he walks through the halls. His enemies, they have no chance. The people, they call him Vladimir. Vladimir, the poisoner of underpants. Vladimir, the poisoner of underpants. His potions will drive you insane. He'll mess with your drawers so the poison can flow straight from your balls to your brain. So don't say a word to nobody Or Vlad will weaponize your crotch He won't even have the damn decency To wait and poison your scotch So don't mess with Comrade Putin Or he'll run you through with a lance that's why they call him Vladimir. Vladimir, the poisoner of underpants. Vladimir, the poisoner of underpants. His potions will drive you insane. He'll mess with your drawers so the poison can flow straight from your balls to your brain. I can still get arrested in Russia for sitting there. You, you know why Biden had to go to the hospital? Yeah. He, he couldn't stop Putin. <laughs> well, I'm going to stop Putin, so there you go. I already told that once, but it's still been funny to tell it again. <laughs> hey, that's a great song. And thank you for coming. And now then, now, Alan... You get yeah. to do one. You get to do one song that you want to do, but then when that's over, we're gonna go to gallery view, and you got to do that one minute song. Okay. 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 Alan Larson, folks. Okay, this is. Uh, I'm back to acoustic land. Back to the twelve here. Let's see. Let me get that framed a little better. Let's see. There we go. I think. Okay. Uh, no electric guitar, no complications. No complications, the name of the song. Everybody's talking about the situation. <coughs> Breaking news, getting everyone's attention. Even heads are popping up out of the sand. Now they're experts taking a stand. They got no complications with their their information. Well, a harder too much work, but I guess if it feels good, that's good enough. They want no complications. Now I'm running late and I ask directions from a man who points north and then he sort of points south. Well, he rattles about his kids and his mistresses. My, my car still won't start. He's still running his mouth. I want to know complications. 
I just needed some straight up information. Well, you get too little or you get too much when all you wanted was just enough with no complications. She waltzes right into the crowded room She does a two-step past all that talk of gloom She's got an easy smile, she's full of grace But something there is just out of place, I know it Wanted no complications Situations get too much and everybody's out of touch. I long for no complications. Give me no complications. I want no That's Alan Larson, folks. Okay. And now Alan is going to take us home, Alan. <coughs> well, I guess I was the last one in the rotation. Yeah, right. that's it. Well, okay. I got one minute left for one more song. Harry says this tune, it can't be too long. Like I better pick up the pace For a blue hair teen with a ukulele Takes my place Now there's half a minute left to finish And to persuade The owner to hire me for a gig Where I might just get paid there's a girl up front and I want to impress her But there's so little time and so much pressure But uh, it's too late now Cause look, here comes the hook Time to go home everybody Thank you everybody Alan Larson, Bill Martin, Jamie Gunn, David Rayburn And Ace Pounder very nice. That, that's it for another week. That's right. it for another week. Now, remember, more than that, we got our uh, we got our business meeting, and we're going to have a, a guest speaker, and he's a Viking. He, I'm not not as in football, but as in where's the horns, you know? He's from uh -oh. Iceland, and he's a singer and a songwriter gonna... and a playwright and all that kind of stuff, and he does uh, motivational. You want kind plunder of and pillage? talk and, and everything yeah and, and he's going to te teach us all about plundering and pillaging i guess i look forward to learning that yeah yeah so <laughs> anyway he'll he, he got a good speaker tomorrow night as uh, i'm trying to think of his name it's vendor or something like a Vin, vendor something or another the magnificent um, yeah something yeah. like that yeah. and he's he's from uh, he's from up there so okay well, guys boring, nice meeting everybody man nice Let's meeting you david hope to see you next week you and, uh, yeah great to meet you david Likewise. And uh, I guess that's it, guys. So sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Yep. Look out for them thunderstorms, you know. <laughs> okay. All right. And the wind. Strictly if you're a cotton farmer. <laughs> there we go. Have a great night, everyone. Okay. Yeah, thanks, thanks for a great night, Harry. Thanks, thanks Jamie. Thanks for a great night, everybody Yeah, thank else you so too. much. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Alan. So, oh. I got a, 
to I got to go down with the ship. You know, the captain's got to go down <laughs> yeah. with the ship. You have to be the last. I got to okay, be. Okay, I'm overboard. Okay. Well, anyway, thanks, folks. See you all next time. Adios.